Today is Tuesday, July 15th. I'm training triceps. Yeah, I know. Triceps on Tuesday. What's up with that? Well, it's just how my rotation went. There's certain days I just don't have a specific... It's not like I do chest on Monday and so forth. So, today is Tuesday tricep. It's whatever. Let's just call it that. So, I'm going to hit about maybe 16 working sets. Three to four warm-up sets. And what am I going to do? I'm not sure yet. I'm going to do some some compound movements for the tricep and some isolation. So we're just going to go with the flow and go for a fill and hit all of the three heads of the tricep break guy. Alright, for my first set I'm going to do a tricep push down. This is going to be a warm up. Basically just keep it at T-Rex, go down, up here, down, up here. I'm going to lean into it a little bit, stand about shoulder width apart, and then push down, back. Just keep it going. I want to get the blood flowing. Woo! Warm up set number one done. All right, for the warm up in this exercise, I'm actually going to stand up. I'm going to actually kind of like hover over and use the bars resistance to keep my balance. So this is going to help keep me balanced since I have bad balance. And basically, I'm just going to have my hands about nipple width apart. The, uh, the inside of my hands about nipple, and I just keep my arms directly to my side. My chair back a little bit. I'm gonna lean in a little bit, so it keeps uh, keeps me more of a better stance versus straight up. As long as the arm is directly parallel to the wall, that's all that really matters. Like that versus up. That was a bad explanation, but you'll kind of see how I do it in other sets. So I'm just gonna go down, up. I'm going to warm up, about 12 sets, reps I need, and get this going, really concentrate on the squeeze. Right, warm up set number one, done. I'm going to do two more warm up sets, and then start into my working set. Alright, this is 110 pounds per set. This is on a single pull and not a double pull. Double pulley, I can push like 250 to 300 pounds, which you see on the cable crossovers in those type of missions. So we're going to go for about 12. Set number one, done. Alright, set number four. He's under 30. Alright, next exercise is a skull crush, but I do them from the floor. This is a lot of easier, especially me being in the chair and stuff. Just easier to just get in position. You don't have to worry about moving the weight. So I'm going to show you. This bar actually turns my face. See how it comes right here? So I don't really have to worry about it. If I drop it, I can turn my head. So, oh, you can see? See how close it is? Anyway, I got my elbows give me problems. So I'm going to come to my chest, press it up and slowly come down. At times, I won't put it right here on the forehead. Sometimes it'll be at the nose and even to the jaw. It'll be like a jaw pressure. Just depending on where it doesn't hurt my elbow. I'm going to show you though. So, I start up here. This gets in a position. Just kind of warm up the elbows a little bit. And then press it up here. This is one exercise I gotta be careful. 
the times it does hurt my elbow. And I'm sure about 99 point of view people out there have the same problem. It, it just got this tender right there on one of the elbows at times, so I can feel it. So I'm just going to do three here, but I love the exercise. Set number one, done. Set number three, add it at 10. Next thing I'm going to do is a reverse push down. It's one hand, that's both one hand push, reverse push down. It's going to be like this. You do reverse because it works the medial head, which is inside here, like right here. So it's going to help trigger that inside head that few people actually train. And it, you can hit that with other exercises, but this is more specific. Some people may do it like this, but I kind of do it across my body, like so. You really focus the squeeze in the inside right here. It's about total body development. That's what I'm going for. Now, everybody may not train it, then that's fine. I'm just giving different pointers and stuff like that. There's three heads to the tricep. You got a lateral, a medial, and a long. I have to think there for a second. The lateral is out here, the medial is right in here, and the long is the big, big piece like right back here. The lateral is more like this movement outside. Like the long would be like your close grip bench press, overhead stuff. And the medial, you can do like neutral grip, like so like this, or reverse. And there's other exercises. But as you twist your hands, and depending on what exercises, it's going to work a different. All right, I'll, I'm going to do this side so you guys can see this arm. Now, how I play it with my body, I'm not leaning back. It's more forward to just get myself in position. It's not about so much the stance, but it's about the squeeze and the movement of the contraction of the muscle in my arm. Another thing you gotta realize is a cable. So the resistance, see how the resistance like that? It's coming pinpoint. So depending on how you kick it out like this, that's the alignment, it's this. It's different if you try to kick it out sideways like this. Because then the resistance is a totally different. This is the same exercise as this. All it is is that it's a line, it's a line. It's like Ballroom dancing is the line. So understand the movement of what you're trying to do. And you can make anything work for what your needs are and your goals. All right, now I'm going to show you this sitting down or in a wheelchair or from a lower position. <laughs> so, again, I lowered the handle down by just lifting up the base plate. No, now it's handicap accessible. On here is 80 pounds. I'm just going to lean into it, grab it down. I'm going to do push downs with the rope. Now with here, some people keep it to their sides like this, and they press it out like this. 
I like to keep my elbows out and spread it out to really bring this part of the head out of the tricep, kick it out. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Leaning into it so I can really drive the elbows out and spread it apart. Sometimes I like to go slower, sometimes faster, it just all depends. It takes years to figure that happy medium, what you like and what you don't, and what works and what doesn't for you. Wheelchair Athletics Foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit that provides and supports disabled athletes. Please support our cause. Volunteer, donate funds, mail items for the eBay store.